It was about 750-ish a month. And how much did you put down? Like less than 10 grand. We've been hearing so much good things about the Model 3 performance. What's one thing you don't like about it? Welcome! You guys have been asking for this video a ton, and so now we actually have it. We're at X Takeover, one of the biggest, largest Tesla meets on the West Coast, and we're going to be asking and finding Model 3 owners, but not just any Model 3, the newest Model 3 Highland. Hopefully we find some performance models and ask them how much they pay, what they do, and if they like their Model 3 or not. Let's get into it. Hey, so what's your name and what do you drive? My name is JR. I'm the lead of North Bay Tesla owners and I drive a Model 3 Performance. That's sick. What do you love about it? Uh, well, I came from a Model S and I love that it's smaller, it's nimbler, feels super fast. That's sick. You punch it all the time in sport mode or is it insane mode? Or? Insane, insane mode, yeah, all the time. I'm like running out of battery very fast. <laughs> What's one thing you miss going from your Model S to your Model 3 performance? Maybe the space and the comfort on the highways, but this guy with adapted suspension is actually almost a hybrid between the standard suspension on the air. This car is super well done, yeah. Love it, yeah, we've heard so many good things about the Model 3 performance, but what's one like gripe that you've experienced so far with it? I think the acceleration, man, there's no car can beat me. I don't know, I have my neighbor has a Model uh, Porsche GT3 and he can't even beat me. So it's like, at least in the zero to 30, zero to 40. Yeah. Um, so it's just fun. That's awesome. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you pay monthly for your Model 3 performance? Less than uh, 700 bucks, so it's pretty cool, yeah. Nice, and how much did you put down? Like, less than 10 grand. Oh, nice, and you're leasing it, right? Yeah, I'm leasing it, yeah. Nice. It's better, for better for taxes for me. Ah, I see, nice, smart, smart. How much do you pay for insurance? I have two cars and around uh, 2,500 a year, so combined it's a very good deal, yeah. Oh yeah, two hundred dollars a month. That's perfect in California. <laughs> so if you don't mind me asking, what do you do for work, and what's the salary range in someone in that position? I, I do marketing and uh, in the good uh, several six figures. So perfect. Well, thank you so much. Hey, so what's your name and what do you drive? My name is Brendan Sangerman with Unplugged Performance, and I drive kind of all these cars all the time. But this is the one that's most exciting, actually. This is the one that's most exciting. I love it. These are Model 3 performances and everybody's been talking about them. What do you like about the Model 3 performance? It is so fast. The new seats are incredible. We've been testing a lot on track. Uh, I've gotten to lap these things on track. And they're so much fun. A lot of our parts, most of our parts are compatible with them. So we've been testing all of our parts on them at the track and uh, developing more parts. It's been really exciting, but they're just such a thrill to drive. I love it. So what's been done so far to these from Unplugged Performance? So on the black car, we have our 20 inch UPO3 forged wheels. This one's also lowered on our moderate uh, super performance lowering springs. This one's got all of our suspension arms so that we can dial in the alignment just precisely the way we want. It's got our sway bars on it. So it's kind of like a great Canyon Carver, great daily driver. It's got Michelin Pilot Sport for us, so you get a little bit more uh, grip in the corners. It's a great daily driving setup. And then this one, is a little bit more track focused. So this we have our Race Pro coilovers on it. We have our carbon ceramic big brake kit. Also UPO3 forged wheels, but this one is a really wide uh, race spec, 10, almost 11 inches wide, uh, just 18 inches. And this is on uh, a track tire, Yokohama. This one also has our sway bars, race bar in the back, fully modded basically. Wow, that's insane that you guys were able to put so many parts on it so quickly. Any issues so far? Because it has adaptive uh, suspension, when you unplug that, it throws an error code. So we actually have have, uh, new emulators that are coming out, uh, canceller kit. Uh, so you just, they're plug and play, you just plug them right in into those uh, sensor uh, ports and you can put coilovers on, have no problems at all. That's awesome. What is, so we've been hearing so much good things about the Model 3 performance. What's one thing you don't like about it? What's not to like? <laughs> Good answer. What's really like what they look better, they drive better, the seats are better. Like, what's that to like? I love it. So, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for these vehicles? Are you financing or cash? Well, you're going to have to ask our CFO about that because these are all company cars, so I have no clue. <laughs> I love it. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, so what's your name and what do you drive? Uh, my name's Tim, and I drive this 2024 Performance Model 3. Love it. What do you love about it? Uh, almost everything. <laughs> It's, yeah, I see you've done some things already to it, like yeah. in a short, what have you done to it so far? We've done wheels, brakes, tires, suspension, alignment arms, just full bucket seat. That's insane. And now have you taken it to the track already? How many times? I've been out to Laguna twice already. That's insane. Corkscrew and everything? Yep, yep. 
Uh, it's sick. How did it do on the track? It did pretty good. This definitely blows the last model, last gen out of the water. It's a lot faster, but thermal is still an issue. Ooh, dang. So the brakes didn't hold up or? Brakes didn't hold up as well. The battery still heats up really quickly. Ah, uh, I gotcha, I gotcha. So what's one thing you don't like about the Model 3 Performance then? Thermal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Yeah, about thermal. What did you drive before the Model 3 Performance? So I had a 2018 that I tracked before as well. That's been pretty much to all Northern California tracks from Bun Willow to Thunder Hill. That's awesome. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you pay for your Model 3 Performance? This is about 750-ish a month. Okay, did you finance or lease? Uh, finance. Okay. Nice. And how much did you put down? 15K. Oh, okay. Not bad. Good sizable uh, down payment. How much do you pay for insurance, if you don't mind me asking? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a couple hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. And last thing, what do you do for work and what's the salary range for someone in that position? I actually modify these things. Yeah, we're, we're in the aftermarket business. I'm in the aftermarket business. I uh, would do brake suspension, um, mostly for track prep or just daily street comfort. Um, as a tech, anywhere between 40 to 90K, I think. I love it, yeah. Do you have anything you want to shout out? Shout out to Zevcentric. Uh, we're barrier Tesla specialists, and yeah. Sweet, we'll love it. Thanks so much. Awesome. Hey, so what's your name and uh, talk to me about your Tesla Model 3. My name is James and I'm from uh, Aficionado and I actually have done quite a bit with this thing. One of the things that I was kind of proud about is being able to actually make my own part. I actually made these uh, carbon fiber Model 3 mirror deletes. Currently priced at $349 as a for the set. Like there's a minimum, minimum buy that I need to do. They would ship in probably Q like mid Q4. Um, nice. So it'd be really cool to be able to see these on more cars. I don't know about legality in California, but in Oregon, my home state, um, yeah. we, you don't need to have any, any side mirrors and it reduces drag by about 3%. The direct effects of aerodynamics, it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio with, with increasing range. How easy or how hard is it to install or how many hours does it take? I want to say if you have all your tools ready, it's like maybe a half an hour. Oh, that's it's like three T30 bolts um, to get the door door panel off, and then it's three 10 mil bolts, and they actually bolt up with the 10 mil factory bolts. I'm just a, a, a small company trying to trying to make my way. I want to I want to be able to make cool stuff. I have yeah. other ideas that I want to do. You gotta start off somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty great. awesome. Sweet. Hey, so what's your name and what Tesla do you drive? Uh, so my name is Harry, also known by Tesla Man, and I drive a 2024 Tesla Model 3. Love it. So what do you love about the Tesla Model 3? Uh, everything. I love how quiet it is, um, how the suspension is, uh, how they improved it uh, a lot compared to the old Model 3. So. Nice. And I see you've done some things already to walk me through what you've done to it. Okay. So, so first of all, um, so it was an ice cream blue wrap. Um, it was done by Revolutionary Wraps, um, based out in Southern Cal. Nice. So uh, they did an excellent job on the wrap, and then uh, you know I tinted the headlights. We lowered it on Raceland uh, coilovers. Has a carbon fiber front lip, has a rear spoiler that we added on there, and then uh, we also added a lot of carbon fiber interior pieces. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Is there anything you don't like about the Tesla Model 3 performance? Oh. Uh, uh, I mean, I like everything about it. Yeah. Wait, is this a performance or a Model 3? Yeah, it's, a, it's a Model 3. Oh, dang, you got me. I literally thought this was a Model 3 performance. That's <laughs> sick. Nice. I mean, it's, it's probably still fast enough, right? Yeah, yeah, it's still fast, yeah. Nice. Well, anything you don't like about it? No, there's, there's absolutely nothing. If you don't mind me asking, uh, how much do you pay monthly for the Tesla Model 3? Uh, for this one, it's about $500. Oh, OK. Did yeah. you put money down? Yeah, yeah, I, I gave a few thousand down, so. Nice. And then how much do you pay for insurance? Uh, probably like $120 a, a month. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah, not at all, not at all. Nice, and if you don't mind me asking, what do you do for work and what's the salary range for someone in that position? Uh, so what I do for work right now, I just uh, make videos online, but I'm also a, um, a medical student studying to be a doctor. It's kind of hard to say, every month's different. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I see we're at this booth right here. Anything you want to shout out? Oh yeah, uh, so huge shout out to Glidosphere uh, for making, uh, you know, EV exhausts and things like that. So, uh, you know, I really appreciate them for that. And um, yeah. That's Perfect, well thanks so much. All right, no problem. Sweet. Okay.